Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Elden Ring. It's not really a boost of FPS because the FPS is locked at 60 FPS, but the game right now has a lot of stuttering issues. And I have a couple of solutions for you guys if you have AMD or even Nvidia. So we're going to start with the guide. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar. Game mode, you can activate it. I did a couple of tests with and without it doesn't change anything for the stuttering and i prefer right now to use the game mode for the past six months it's pretty good they did a lot of update with it so you're going to make sure that your um your computer will just like remove all those random tasks that windows run and your resources will be dedicated to the game xbox game bar put this one at off really important and remove all those overlay when you're playing elden ring even the one from steam Normally, I don't say to, to remove it, but in this game, just remove all the overlay. It seems to causing a lot of issue with stuttering. For the capture, I recommend to put background recording at off and also uh, recorded audio at off. If you have an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent, you will have an option called graphics setting. Just search for graphics setting and it's, it's called hardware, hardware, sorry, accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this one is at on and uh, restart your computer. Normally, in my previous guide, I always say 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, and 2060. It, it helps with bottleneck, and you can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost. But for this game, all the video card uh, from NVIDIA seems to be better with this. Even my 2070, it's running a lot better, the game, so really important to use it. Another thing that I recommend for NVIDIA, go to your Manage 3D setting and make sure that shader cache size is at unlimited. This seems to help also with stuttering. I have also a recommendation for my AMD people. Um, make sure that you're uh, using the performance tab from uh, AMD Radian and make sure that you're putting a minimum frequency uh, to your video card. So for me, I'm using 2450, but just look at your max frequency by default and remove 150 megahertz. And this is pretty much what you should use. I'm saying that because the game randomly seems to my video card, my 6,900 was going like it, it was on idle. So I was playing the game and sometimes I just, my clock was at 800 megahertz and I didn't understand why. So now I'm forcing a minimum frequency and it helps a lot with the stuttering in my game. Another thing that I recommend, and I think this is really big, go to graphics setting and here click browse, write Elden Ring. I just made a mistake here, so search for it. You will have a uh, .exe that almost like 78 meg, something like that. Double click on it. It will be there. Go to option and make sure that you're running high performance here. Don't use the let windows decide. This seems to fix a lot of issue with stuttering and I see a lot of people having issue with the laptop. I had the same issue on my Dell XPS. The game was running on my integrate video card on my uh, processor and it didn't took my 1050 GTX. So make sure that you're selecting your GPU here because maybe by default it will be to your integrate video card and this will help a lot for your FPS. So I'm just gonna press save. So this is pretty much it. The one thing that I also recommend is go to right energy, go to power option and make sure that you're running our performance. Normally I always say you can use balance or high performance. Both are fine. Don't use power server, but in this game, super important to use the high performance profile. It seems to be a lot better for your FPS. Two things that I can mention, make sure that you update your driver. So if you have AMD, go on their website, N NVIDIA, same thing. They have dedicated driver for this. And also, I have two different guides on my YouTube channel, how to overclock your CPU and how to overclock your GPU. This also can help a little bit with the game. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, screen mode, I recommend to go borderless. Normally, I always say to play full screen, but in full screen, you're all... Um, Earths, the amount of Earths of your monitor will be locked at 60 Earths. In borderless, it will be unlocked, so depending on the amount of Earths that you have. Uh, so it will be a little bit better, but your FPS will still be locked at 60. I still recommend to go with borderless, it helps a little bit, but you can unlock your FPS. I did a couple of tests even in the config file, nothing is working, so we're, we, we're stuck at 60. 
For the resolution, I recommend to play a uh, native. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have like a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. Uh, auto detect best rendering, I recommend to go with off. Quality, quality setting, don't touch it because when you will touch the advanced setting, this one will change to custom. So let's go to advanced. So first of all, texture quality, I have a couple of options. Uh, honestly, if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM and you're playing 2K, you can definitely go maximum. If you have 4 gig and, and more of VRAM and you're playing 1080p, you should be fine at maximum. If you have 3 gig, go with high. 2 gig, go with medium. And less than 2 gig, go with low. NTL easing, you don't have a lot of options. You have high, low, or off. Um, I didn't see a huge difference in my FPS, honestly, in uh, NTL easing between low and high. The only thing is the game is a little bit blurry in high, so I kind of prefer low and you're getting like 1-2% to boost in your FPS. So this is pretty much the, um, the, the graphic setting that I recommend. Ambient inclusion, this one, uh, it, don't use maximum and high. It's taking a lot of resources. Go with medium. I don't recommend to remove it because the game will look flat. If you're playing on an integrated GPU or, an, or a laptop with a like an entry level GPU, maybe you should you will need to put this one at off because it will give you another two percent boost if I compare to medium. So this one is kind of important for your FPS. Depth of field and motion blur. I recommend to go with off for for those one. It will help with the the, the visual, your, the clarity of your game, but it will not give you like maybe one percent with depth of field. But it doesn't provide any FPS honestly with those parameters. Shadow quality. This one is huge. So if I compare maximum to low, you can expect a nice seven percent boost in your FPS. Uh, I recommend something like low or medium. Um, it really depends on your PC. Again, normally. Uh, when I do my guide, it's for an eye refresh rate monitor, but in this case, we're kind of stuck at 60 FPS. So just look at what FPS that you're currently running. So don't go too low if you don't have any issue with your FPS, but I recommend something like medium or low. Lighting quality, again, don't go with maximum or high. It's taking too much resources and causing stuttering, so go with medium. Effect quality, you will not see a big difference when you're playing, but when you're fighting, you will see if you're getting some random drops, go with medium or even low. Uh, I will avoid, again, high and maximum. Seems to causing a lot of stuttering and mini lag when you're playing the game. So medium seems the way to go. Volumetric quality, it's pretty much a second parameter that it's taking a lot of resources with shadow quality. Uh, this one, if you're playing on the entry-level computer, straight up go with low, it will help a lot. If you have like a mid-range computer, you can definitely go with medium. Uh, don't don't use maximum or high. It's taking a lot of resources. If I compare maximum to low, uh, you can expect a nice six percent to seven percent boost in your FPS. So pretty decent FPS over here. Reflection quality. You don't have a lot of options for this one. You have three different options. Uh, go with low. Um, it stabilizes your FPS. You can expect a nice 2% boost in low. And I didn't see a big difference between high and low in the image quality. So that's why I recommend low for this one. Water surface quality, pretty much the same thing. You have two options. Didn't see a huge difference. And uh, you stabilize your FPS with the surface at low. So definitely go with low for this one. Shadow quality, this one is kind of important for your image quality. I did a couple of tests. Um, for sure, at low, you're getting a lot of FPS, not a lot, but like 5 to 6% boost in your FPS, but your image doesn't look really good. So I recommend to go with I and change other parameter, like I said, like just follow my guide. At the end, if you're still struggling, struggling sorry, with your FPS, go with medium for shader quality. Global illumination quality, this one is taking a lot of resources. You have three options. I recommend to go with low. If you have a decent computer, you can definitely go with medium. Don't go too high. It's taking too much for uh, the difference of image quality between medium and high. And finally, the last one, grass quality. This one I recommend to go with medium. Uh, one percent difference between medium and high. So not a huge thing, but uh, it stabilizes your FPS. If you're struggling with your FPS, Definitely go with medium. If you don't have any issue with your FPS and it seems the game seems to run fine, you can definitely go with I with this one. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide for Elden Ring. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM with your question. I will try to help you the best I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.